Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to test the performance of your site. First of all, the performance of your site is measured by various factors like speed, SEO and others that I'll talk about more further in the video. There are many tools that you can use to test the performance, so without further ado, let's jump into testing. Google confirms that speed is a ranking factor. And a ranking factor, if you didn't know, is a feature that Google recognizes when considering where your site is going to be shown when searched. And obviously, everyone wants to be on the first page of Google search. Google itself offers very good tools to check the performance of your site. So I'll probably have to repeat myself later with different metrics. But when it comes to site speed, you can use we.dev that measures performance and accessibility, best practices and SEO. Here you can use the score scale that they provide to see if there is anything you need to improve. There is another tool by Think with Google called Test My Site and it tests your site performance on mobile devices. Simply write down your URL uh, and the tool will analyze it and give you tips on improvement. To improve the speed of your site, you may need to hire professionals, but you can improve your site speed by looking into basic things such as optimizing images. We actually have a tutorial on this topic and you can find it at the top of the video. Uptime is a metric that shows you how often your server is up and running. If it's not, your visitors can't access your site and that's a big issue. Most WordPress hosting providers will promise a 99.9% .9 server uptime, but it's not always true, so it's beneficial to keep track yourself. The most popular tool for measuring uptime is the Uptime Robot. You first have to go through the quick and free registration and the tool will start testing your site's uptime. As your site grows, there is a bigger risk of being subjected to attacks on your site. It is done for various purposes, including hijacking payment systems and website traffic. So checking your site for malware is a must. And fortunately, there are tools and plugins for this too. There's a great online tool by Securi where you can enter your URL and it will check the security level of your site. Security itself is a great security plugin for attack prevention, monitoring and um, everything else security related. So you can give that a go too. Search engine optimization is responsible for how your site ranks in search engines. So obviously this is a very important step if you want your site to be easily discoverable. A good tool to use to check SEO is Site Checker. It will give you a score out of 100 and show you what issues your site might have. Those include missing alt tags, title duplicates, no outgoing links on a page and many other things that have big impact on SEO. In addition, you have to keep in mind uh, that the content on your site has to be SEO friendly too. A plugin like Yoast SEO is a big help here. It analyzes your content and gives suggestions too. When writing a blog post, Yoast will analyze the content and show you any issues that might be there. Follow their instructions, look for the green smiley face and your site will rank way higher. Like speed, mobile responsiveness also significantly impacts SEO. So you always have to make sure that it works and looks good on all devices. To check whether your site is mobile friendly, you can use the mobile friendly test from Search Google. Simply enter your URL and it will tell you if it is mobile friendly. To ensure that your site is mobile friendly, you can start by choosing a theme that offers responsiveness options. Also, if you use page builders like Visual Composer, for example, you get a ton of custom responsiveness features on top of the auto responsiveness feature that the builder offers. And these were the main ways you can test the performance of your site. Let us know which tools you're using. Until then, see you on the next one.